Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale. Today we're going to look at a Russian tank collection, uh, items they've had on the shelf, and I'm moving into uh, plastic cases. And so when I've taken these off the shelf, some of them are in need of repair. Uh, I had to dust a lot of uh, things off with a brush. And careful as I was, some things came off that way. Others were just touched and it fell apart and things just got moved slightly. Especially this one, the AeroSan, needs to be fixed. Let's take a look here. This guy, I think the only thing I need to do is re-glue that. With these metal models, you got to use the Silenite, the crazy glue. This is on a base. This is the big, I believe, that's the... 122 millimeter gun. It's on a little diorama base. Looks real nice. Got some crew and men doing some things there. This, I don't know if I have the parts in here or not. It needs a man and it needs its big uh, the sheet machine gun. That's the, either the SU-152 or the JSU-152. I always forget which one is which. There's slight differences between them. This one, I think all I have to do is uh, put the big machine gun back on there. See where that came off. This guy's a metal model. And uh, the driver and the gunner came off. And then all of these came off. I think I'm going to do on this like I did on another one. I'm going to base it on a little tiny base and put the snow ice on there for the base. This one is a Len Lease Sherman. It's on a board. It's a metal one. As you can see, it's a mortar set and it needs to be done up more in uh, Russian. And I believe that machine gun might have come off somewhere up there. That's a, a 50 cal. And this, this, I'm not sure what to do. This has been glued multiple times. This is a Dragon uh, model armor. And uh, obviously it's got to get busted off again, take the glue off, and then try again with uh, either crazy glue or the regular model glue to see to get that. This guy, I believe, is... Uh, the machine gun came off of that, but I'm not sure. And I think it might have had another man or it needs some type of repair. It's a captured armored car from the, the Germans. And it's got a 37 millimeter on it. It's got nice markings. Let's move over here. Slide these here. box tray. This again is going to be a Sherman. They did get a few of these uh, late model Sherman 76. This one's kind of large in the scale. So and I have a lot of American Shermans. So this is going to be redone for uh, the Russians. This one. Oh yeah, this one was a dragon and just uh, that wheel came off needs to be done. This needs a man and some type of repair. Got some small parts and things. I don't even know where they all went to. There's a cool, very cool JS3. And of course, the big Dashik 12, seven millimeter machine gun came off of that. Uh, this lost all of its men. This is a land lease. Churchill that the Russians had. I don't know how to quite fix that bend without breaking it in the gun there. They're nice metal figures on some of them and others are plastic. And you can see some more machine guns that need to go on some of these and also this one's a Lend Lease, a Valentine for Valentine for uh, the Russians. So I got repair work to do. I got out uh, some of my glues. I usually use uh, 
This one, I tried uh, the, the green label Tamaya. That was just like liquid. Didn't seem to want to work very well for me. I got that. And then I have a... I don't know if these are going to work. These are kind of old. Super glue type. There's Gorilla. That one lost its label. Sometimes these things uh, dry up or so forth. So silo, not cry, glue. And then they have different thicknesses you got to get. This, these glues aren't cheap. So let's see if I can uh, get these to work between one of the other ones and fix things up. So uh, a little bit repair work. And uh, as I said, they're going to be going into uh, plastic cases. I'll show you the case. Like this. And they fit in there, a row here and a row there. They fit at least a, a dozen, and depending on the, the width of the vehicle, 14 or more and sometimes you can get a little bit of something up the middle so hold 36 at the minimum 40 and then if you're going to use these to put other things like that then of course less and you get diorama pieces and uh, I'll just show this for folks that were watching all the way to the end of the video here here's some of the other items for the Russians that aren't going to go in the trays. They've got their brand Jeep, uh, half tracks, trucks, armored cars, and some of the T-70s that didn't go in there. They've all been brushed off and ready to go back in. So that was a little sneak peek of some of the others for people still watching. Till next time, World War II 172 scale. Thanks for watching.